Hello! In this video, I'm going to give you the recipe for getting rid of that background dread, those emotions that you don't like, that constant like you're not there yet, you just feel dissatisfied, you feel uncomfortable in your own skin. It must be something with my self-esteem, my self-worth. In this video, we're going to deal with it, and it's very short. So, go subscribe immediately to this channel if you want original insights on personal development that you can't get anywhere else. And don't forget to go download our free course on productivity by clicking the link just below here. So what are we talking about? I'm not talking about the stuff that, you know, people die or, you know, catastrophes happen or something that pushes you completely out of where you used to be. You know, things that make you very sad or very angry or upset. I'm not talking about crises. I'm talking about the lingering everyday Ugh, not there yet. You know, the desire for something else. The Maybe it's a relationship I'm missing. Maybe it's something else. You know, feeling stressed, feeling inadequate, feeling whatever, right? That's what I'm feeling about. The background stream of crap, emotional crap that we walk around with. And maybe that's the reason why you're here. Because then we imagine that if I get this or if I get that, the relationship, the money, then it will disappear. We seek and search and we try to figure out how to get rid of it by bringing ourselves to another place. And there's nothing wrong with that. But let's just do it now instead of wait. See, where does these emotions come from? They come from the assumption that if I feel bad, then I will do something to make my situation better. If you didn't have that assumption, if you didn't believe that, you wouldn't feel bad. Here's the trick. The brain is basically three different developmental stages. We have the reptile brain, which is the oldest part, the mammal brain, which is somewhat newer. It's emotional. The, the reptile brain is unemotional. It's a robot, basically, that really has the power to make you survive, and it's very fast. The mammal brain is somewhat slower in its reactions. It's emotional, it's very powerful, but it's simple. It's basically a matter of eating, surviving, and reproducing, and just defending yourself, right? All of that is there. Then the frontal lobes are analytical. You can have abstract thought. You can reproduce any sense perception in memory. You can imagine tastes. You can imagine smells and visions and all kinds of stuff. It's amazing. And it's responsible for the fact that we live in this reality that we once imagined and then went ahead and created. But the mammal brain with its emotions are responsible for the drive that, that brought us there, right? The desire, right? So... What happens is when you go around feeling dread and feeling uncomfortable in your own skin, that is basically an assumption from the mammal brain, the lower parts, that if I feel dissatisfied, then I will produce these, um, these results. Then I will ha have drive. But you can't go ahead and, and solve your problems or deal with your challenges in this modern world created by the frontal lobes by the use of old, simple, animal-like strategies like bad emotions or emotions that doesn't feel good that doesn't happen just like jealousy right you get jealous you actually push whoever you're jealous about away instead of closer to you right that's because it's a monkey strategy it's a lower level strategy and it doesn't work for something as delicate as love in this day and age maybe one time you could just hit her over the head she's my girl and then pull her close and problem solved right but that doesn't fly real well in, in this uh, age. A another example would be to be, just release your anger. When you're very angry with somebody, then just blow it out like full, full tilt, right? That is going to be very damaging to that relationship. So you can't trust your mammal brain to, to, to create a good life for you. You simply can't. So what you need to do is recognize the fact that those emotions in the background are always trying to do two things. They're trying to give you what you want and make you happy. So how is that going? Not very well, I imagine, right? It doesn't work. But that's as good as it can, you know, that's as good as it gets when it comes from the mammal brain. It creates a drive, doesn't it? But it doesn't work because... Ugh, you don't feel energized. It eats your energy every day. You can go for a run and eat healthfully and have positive thoughts and pfft, all of that. But those emotions, that energy is just going to eat it all away. And as soon as you stop thinking positively, consciously, it's just going to make you feel very negative again. 
until you realize that it's part of the brain that has way too much to say. You need to elevate yourself to your frontal lobes and say, I'm taking charge. And here's the trick. And it's not easy. But if you don't plan and say, what do I want out of my day? What do I want out of my week? When am I going to do what? How do I want to feel? How do I want to feel in this situation? How do I want to feel about my job? What am I going to do to get there? If you don't ask and answer these questions, then the mammal brain is going to say, I have a solution. We can feel like crap. That's going to do something. So it's just, you know, it's a stupid person and a very wise person. And if the very wise person is asleep, is not active, then this guy is going to take over. And it's going to produce the, a low-level survival strategy, which is feeling bad. See, every time you want to survive, you're fearful, you run away, or you're aggressive, you, you, you fight. That, that's not comfortable emotions, right? Or you're nervous, you're anxious, so you're very alert to what goes on around you. Was that a tiger? What's going on here? You're in a threatening environment. And that's the way of the mammal brain of solving challenges. But you don't have those challenges, do you? You have very different challenges in this world. And they require you to use your frontal lobes. So you can try to dull yourself down, drinking alcohol, doing nothing, watching movies, going around in circle, doing the same job over and over again, chatting with co-workers, trying to live in the surface and not think about all the things you could have done in, with your life because that's going to keep you preoccupied. As soon as you want something more, boom, the mammal brain offers its solution. You want something more? Let's feel really bad so we, can, so we want to do something. But it doesn't work. You have to take charge. And taking charge is a constant thing. You become better at it all the time. All right? You're standing on the playing field of life. People are bumping into you. And the mammal brain just feels even more dissatisfied, right? They say, oh, why are people bumping into me? I don't want this. Go away. Let me find a corner I can sit in and be really mad or really whatever, right? But you want to take charge with your frontal lobes. You say, hey, what's this game about? How do you score? How do you get results here? Okay, so what are the rules? What are the boundaries of the playing field? Where can we go? Where can't we go? Let me learn what's going on here. Let me, let me build my skills so I can get moving. And then I'm going to take these these emotions of just feeling constantly sub-level happiness, let me take those away and say, I don't want to use these strategies anymore. But they will appear as soon as you let go, that the grip is off. And that makes us think that there's something wrong with us. Why am I always feeling bad if I'm not? But that's just how it is. That's mammal brain thing. Right? I hope this makes sense to you. But it, it, and I hope you will look at that background feeling and go, instead of trying to figure out exactly, oh, what, what about my childhood? Nothing wrong with that. Or trying to analyze your way out of it. Also look at it and say, what do, does this emotion want? What, what does it want? It wants me to fix something, right? But I can fix it without feeling like that. Just get off me, right? <laughs> well, secondly, it's trying to actually make me happy through achieving what it wants. But it doesn't work. And you need to have that thought 100 times, 200 times, 500 times until it becomes an automatic response in your brain that says, oh, I'm feeling sub. Oh, let me take charge, right? Let me go. Okay? So um, I hope to see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you liked what was in here.